guys, your boy here, Resiki Jonathan. It's, it's been a while, it's been a while, but it's been worth it. Your boy, oh, it's gonna look even better on this film. Your boy got Regal Camo for the Assault Rifles. This took literally forever. Like, holy crap. I mean, like, some of these guns were, like, easy. Like, I got it done in a day, but, oh, whoo, there's a gun. There's a gun in here that took way longer than it was supposed to and oh my god i'm okay i don't have any attachments on all these guns but i'm, I'm gonna kind of get my review based on shit, i'm gonna die <laughs> i'm gonna get my review based on every single one so far this is the m16 basically no attachments i don't have anything unlocked but it's not it's not like this gun needs any more attachments the only attachment you really need on this gun is dude i just one person that you the only attachment you need on this gun is red dots that's that's all you need that 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 all you need in this gun and stopping power, I guess you know that. And I'll help you out some, but you know this this gun, I actually really did not like using it because being burst guns do not work well together. I mean, usually when it comes to burst guns, I I don't either either like they're so dang accurate to where I just miss every shot like that, or I just or I'm just terrible. But okay, here we're on. This is probably one of my favorites of this whole time. The AK-47. We're getting down. We're getting picked up four of these. The AK-47. Oh, I actually had a lot of fun using this gun. It's strong. I would say it doesn't have that much recall onto it. It's 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 actually probably one of my favorite guns in this game to use. It's just it's just a nice classic gun. I'm viewing this like I'm some like gun pro guy or whatever. I'm just some regular dude who plays Call of Duty. <laughs> but this this gun, I don't know why like that. This oh oh sweet Jemima. Like this this gun's probably one of my favorite. Please. The M4 carbine. Never looking to the M16, but doesn't. I would say not work the same. It's a more. It's an automatic. I would say it's kind of. Okay, please, please don't hurt me if you're like a gun person or anything. Uh, I think of this gun as kind of an automatic version of the M16. Just kind of remade. I mean, it's a, it's a solid rifle. If you're beginning, if you're beginning and using the game, you want to get good. You want to get some feel of the game. I would suggest using this gun. It has it has a built-in foregrip, which adds to the stability a lot, which makes it an accurate gun to use. And it's just like, it's just a base gun to use. I mean, there's nothing really too special about this, or nothing like so overpowered about it. It's just, it's just like that kind of rifle you want to use in a game. I mean, this gun literally didn't take that long to do. I mean, it's automatic. It makes it easy for me to aim for the head, and because it's not that you know that high in damage output or anything, but it makes it easier. It's, it's stable. Which means, like, easy, easy, like, there was not that much recoil in that shot right there. Which just makes it really, really a decent gun to really just go for headshots. And if, if, if you for the first time ever playing Call of Duty, or playing, you know, this game, in total, you know, I would suggest using the M4, because it's just, it's just, it's just an all-around nice gun. I love it. Hey. Oh, okay, I, I didn't get that kill, because it's not that strong of a gun, but you know, you know, you know what I mean. Oh my god. <laughs> I love this gun. Here we are on to probably this gun was semi hard to use. Semi hard. This gun wasn't like too difficult to use, but it also wasn't too easy to use. I mean, it's a challenge of a gun, but it's it's basically a single shot gun. I don't really know what it's called. I want to say semi-automatic, but that's probably not what it is. But this 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 gun like automatically it has really. I got one person. This gun. Doesn't really have that much recoil at all, and I mean, it's a single shot, which makes it like at least a two to three shot headshot, depending on if you have stopping power or not. Maybe with a one shot in some situations too. But um, this this gun really didn't take that long take that long to get headshots for. It doesn't have as much range as the um, the MK14, the M14, as I would say, because that gun, oh my god, that gun was even easier to get gold to get gold for, and I mean like. I would say if you're gonna use this gun, um, you're gonna need a red dot at least, or if you're trying to be like, I still don't know how to die right there. But if you're close range to people, I would say you probably would run around a suppressor. I mean, uh, most of these um single shot guns, you can control the recoil, and these sights aren't really too bad. So if you're really trying to be up close and personal with a single shot rifle, I would suggest putting suppressor on because it makes things ten times like easier for like sneaking around. Like, like, most of the time, a lot of people don't run suppressors, so when you have one on, people aren't really going to be paying attention to the map. I mean, like, just throw a suppressor on. Alright, we are on to probably one of my favorite guns in total column... In, 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 
Okay, here we are to one of my favorite guns in the Call of Duty series, the G36D. I have a lot of memories of this gun in Modern Warfare 3, and uh, I mean, even though this, this, even though Modern Warfare 3 came last, I didn't really play Modern Warfare or COD 4 back in the day as much because I was young and new to the Call of Duty scene and everything. But the G36D brought a lot of memories to me. This is probably one of my all-time favorite guns, just period. Uh, I would say this gun's quite similar to the M4, maybe, maybe a lot more damage. But a lot more recall, I would say. I mean, they're pretty similar to me. But this, this gun, oh my god, you put suppressor on this gun. Oh my god. If I wasn't, if I wasn't going for headshots the whole time and having like a red dot sight on, I would most likely be throwing a throwing a suppressor on. And I did, I did throw a suppressor on when I was using this gun, just not as much. But when I started even going for headshots, but this gun with suppressor is just. Oh. I mean, it has it has a nice it has a, it has a nice damage output to it. And that that helps to using a suppressor. You you can be like that kind of like a CQB or whatever type of message you like. You can kind of roleplay with that. That sounds weird. Oh, I got a headshot. But you kind of roleplay with that. Um, it doesn't have that good of a iron sight, which is kind of like you know when I just got that headshot, that it's not like too easy to get a headshot from this gun. Unless you're like really. I'm going to get beat there, isn't it? I mean, if you're just if you're going for headshots, I would suggest just stick it to the red dot sight. It'll just make things a lot easier for you. But if you're just using the gun. And you're just playing around with it. I mean, red dot sight. I mean, not red dot sight. Suppressor, CQB, and close. Because this gun, this gun, it's pretty being up close, being up close quite, quite well. Quite well. All right, we are back in another lobby. That previous map I was playing, Daybreak. It's part of the March 17th, March. Uh, uh, I don't know when. When's Leprechaun Day? Oh my God, I said Leprechaun Day. Oh my God, when's St. Patrick's Day? I really don't celebrate that day, but. You know, it's it's an event um this guy these guys are holding. I'll I'll probably state that in a video other than this, but you know, I'll just play on that map. It's pretty cool, it's a decent map. It's an, it's a daylight version of downpour, but we are using the MK14. This gun took only a couple hours to get gold. Like either I was getting in really good lobby and getting headshots, or just this gun, oh my god, like it's 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 underrated, I would say. It's, it's a highly underrated gun. You know, being mostly a two-shot gun, depending on like who you're shooting, two to three to four shot. You know, shooting that guy through like a wall, and this gun is really strong. It's kind of based off the um the sniper rifle version. It could be a sniper rifle and an assault rifle, but oddly, you can, it's weird. But uh, mostly, if you're going to be using this gun, trying to trying to get headshots for this gun, play block or a map with like. A lot of, I mean, a lot of fight the easiest map, especially for this gun, the D36, because a lot of people are head glitching, and you can just throw a red outside on and just pick them off the whole time. But this, this gun, probably, probably one of my, well, just the easiest, just cheese method, just picking people off head glitches on block the whole time. Like, mainly, that's all I was doing. Up close and personal, this gun does not do well. I mean, you, unless you have a really fast, unless you can react well, and, you know, pull the trigger off on someone really fast and pretty accurate, and then, you know, you, know, you do you, but I would suggest using this gun in too close to range, maybe post up somewhere, you know, guarding some corners or something. I, I don't really know. You know, play, play more of the defensive play style. Um, just like what I said with the G36D, you could, you could throw on a suppressor. I mean, if you're gonna be going long range, you red dot sight, ACOG, don't even touch it. I mean, you could, but it's just, it's red dot sight. I'm really about to leave this lobby. I'm just like, geez, we're getting. Murder. I don't want to just show me getting murdered half the time and not kill anyone. But we might just leave other games to kill it too. But this, this gun all time, picking people off for head glitches, like I did not do right there. It's just, it's just you can just we can what you can you can headshot someone one time, one time that's a headshot. I mean that's right there in room. Like this this gun, the ultimate defensive position. You would want to use this gun and not be that guy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave. I'll see, I'll see you guys in the lobby. Okay, but we're using the worst gun, the gun that took literally three to four weeks of me trying to get headshots for, because this gun is complete, complete and utter ass. And I, I'm saying that with like, just like, oh my god, like, one-on-one -on -one gunfights, okay, that guy's just bad. <laughs> but, one-on-one, one-on-one gunfights, this gun is just, just terrible. Um, you could run st stopping power with this gun, but the way I played this, the way I played with this gun, I chose to use double tap. Right now, I am not using stopping. I'm not using double tap because I forgot to put it on. But double tap does work with this gun. It has a really slow fire rate, but a, a high output of damage. 
So throwing on, you know, the double tap really, really wouldn't, you know, throw stopping power off too much, I would say. I, I really know the stats between the gun with and without stopping power. But throwing on, throwing on the double tap would, would help this gun a lot because of the slow rate of fire. And just this, this getting headshots for this gun. It does. It doesn't have any. Re you can't put any attack on it, which made things a lot worse. The kick on this gun is horrendous, which made using double tap even a wor an even worse decision. This gun, I will probably never touch again after this video, unless I'm playing just for some random reason. I'm just wanting to use an old style gun. Then I would use this gun. But this gun is just. I hated it, and I'm so glad this was the last gun. And the challenges for this thing. A hundred and- I am getting- we're getting just a molly by this freaking kid. Um, 150 kills while crouched. 150 kills while prone. The prone kills were just- oh, I- I had to like search for domination and get this map and just, um, and just like, find people to play with and just lay on the ground, like on this map. Like literally all I did was just this right here, all over again. This gun is horrendous. If you're gonna go for this gun and get this gun, um, I get this gun gold. Play, play shipment. Now this gun actually I have not actually gotten royalty for. I got royalty for other shot rifles and it's going on here. This is just this is the DLC rifle, the XMLR. I actually my, probably one of my first time actually using this gun in a game. This gun though is I picked it up in the recent you know pass. This gun is really overpowered. If you're gonna be if you're gonna spend salvage on something, spend a salvage on this gun because it's really really powerful. I don't know if I'll be able to show it too well off of this video, but this gun is ridiculously strong. It's um, it's like it's like a mix between the like the G36 C with the I'm like talking COD 4 wise, not any other game. But this is like a mix between the, the G36 C and the M14, and they had like a kid who was like on steroids. But this that gun is overpowered as heck. It might have gotten fixed. But it's a three to four shot weapon, depending on what you have on your gun. That gun, I would probably recommend suppressor, red dot sight, depending on what you're doing. There's other attachments for this gun. You know, let's look for the attachments for this gun. Let's, let's look. Let's look. You know, yeah, I, I would probably stick to either one of these two. This gun, oh my god, is is. Let's look at the stats. Let's just look at the stats on this gun. Like, obviously these two. Okay, obviously these two probably do beat it. Like seriously, the only gun that matches up to it is the AK. I mean, it's like it's like the AK and the M4 and the T36 had a baby, and it was this freak of nature because this gun is so strong in this gun in this game. If you have that gun, you're gonna win possibly every situation. It's just a nice all-around balanced gun, and oh my god, I'm so happy I got Regal for assault rifles. I can finally start putting out videos for you guys while I'm using LMGs now because that's exactly what we're doing now. That shouldn't take too long to do and honestly I'll be putting videos up in between. I won't just be focused just be putting these videos up when I get the camo. I, I do have video ideas to put up. I mean I'm just I'm just chilling, relaxing, playing Call of Duty. I I have hit clips. I know, <laughs> but but they, they I, I'm trying to put I'm trying to put together you guys a, a nice montage the return kind of face. <laughs> but it's been your boy here, Resident Evil Jonathan. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm close to Pursuit Seven as you see, but it's been your boy here, Resident Evil Jonathan. I'll see you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys later. Peace.